Hello everyone, my name is Tarek McCowie. I am 25 years old and I went to Riverside Middle School where Mr. Kasperzak was my counselor. And he was also my counselor in high school. I'm just here today to talk a little bit about my career path, my journey, uh, and some pieces of advice that I wish I would have listened to. They were definitely told to me, but I didn't listen to them appropriately until much later down the line. So. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and start by saying that I went to Riverside Middle School uh, and I started the ground running. School was super important to me. My parents very much were strict parents. I had to get my homework done. Uh, and I, I'm so thankful for that today because they really instilled a hard working ethic and just a lot of respect to the teachers and faculty and and counselors who really guided me to the person I am today. Uh, after Riverside, I went to Crestwood and it, you know, high school is kind of an, a new, a new journey and you really get to reinvent the person you are or continue discovering things you liked. I played football for like four or five years back in middle school. And when I got to high school, I decided I didn't like it. And that that's okay. That's part of the journey. You're supposed to find out things you like and dislike. So after that, I I did um, I did a huge jump. I went over to the book club and theater, and I really enjoyed that. I joined swimming and tennis, and I did a year rowing. Those were huge things I never would have thought about. Um, but thankfully, I was supported, and I remember Mr. Kasbrack just telling us to to really try to pursue things that we thought we might enjoy. And it's okay if if we decided that we didn't. You know, no one is going to judge you. You're in the time of your life where you're supposed to be trying new things and seeing if you like them um, in regards to school and education and those clubs. So I did a ton of AP classes and sports and extracurriculars. And I will say by the time I hit senior year, I was pretty burnt out. And I just remember you know, I was on top of everything all the time until it hit senior year where I just really needed to just relax. I found out what I wanted to do and where I was going. I did end up going to U of M Ann Arbor, but I, I remember I was waitlisted and that was a huge blow to me. And it doesn't sound like a big deal sometimes, but it was just a huge blow in my confidence. Uh, and I just thought I wasn't good enough at the time. And, you know, I, I got very depressed and it was, it was hard. It was very hard to, to, you know, overcome failure because it felt like a failure at a time, even though it really isn't. It, wherever y'all end up, you're going to make the best of it. Uh, even if that's Michigan State, I'm just kidding. I do love Michigan State. I, I did go to their medical school. So I am both a go blue and a go green, um, uh, person. So. Yeah, so long story short, it took me a second to realize I, I needed to take a breath of fresh air and I needed to reevaluate what I wanted to do. Uh, and later I did get accepted to, to University of Michigan, which I'm very thankful for. Uh, but I'm glad for that, that wait list or I'm glad for that perceived failure because it really did teach me to kind of get back up refocus and it's not the end of the world. You need to, you need to get back on your horse and keep going. When I got to University of Michigan, uh, I continue to struggle with some mental health stuff. I felt depressed and anxious a lot of the time. And I realized I didn't have the skills to, to really, to really focus on those, those, uh, those things. School was going just fine. I, I was still focusing on classes, but I still wasn't feeling fulfilled or happy. Uh, and, and yeah, I think, I think it started just a huge mental health journey. I started seeing counselor at the school and it helped so much just talking out my problems. And then I made it into sort of a, a career choice for me. I started a nonprofit called Heal Move Shift that really focuses on healing the community, uh, moving the conversation and shifting the stigma away from mental health topics. And we did it. We did a huge like pilot program. We did a lot of educational programs that, the, the middle schools and high schools. And then I don't know, it started just snowballing into bigger things while I was in school. I got invited to be a Ted talk, um, uh, speaker. And then I got awarded student of the year at university of Michigan, which was a huge deal. 
I got awarded um, uh, an award through the Bond Barger Leadership Institute at the educational uh, um, school at University of Michigan. And I just remember I was astonished by something that I felt was so bad in my life, just sadness and depression was so bad that it could escalate to something so awesome and cool. And I remember that they really invested in my nonprofit. I got $20,000 through the Barger Leadership to, to continue teaching these programs that, uh, that are still going today. Multiple, I think it's been five years since I've left the organization. It's still moving forward and we still have people on the grounds, you know, teaching these, these critical skills that I wish I knew so much earlier. Uh, finally, it was my senior year of college and I knew I wanted to do medicine. But I just wasn't ready yet. I wanted to do a little bit more before that. So I applied for a fellowship. It was called the Bonderman Leadership uh, or Bonderman Fellowship, where I got paid another $20,000. But this one specifically was just to go travel the world. And it was very much meant to, uh, to experience the world outside of westernized outlook. So I wasn't allowed to come back to America at all for the eight months. I wasn't allowed to visit Europe or Germany or any of that. It all had to be non-Westernized outlook. So I went to South America for a lot. I went to Japan and Asia uh, and I went to North Africa for a bit too. So I did a lot of cool stuff and I'm so thankful that I didn't just jump into the career that I wanted immediately. I took a second and that's so important is if I can give any kind of advice, just take a second, reevaluate. It's okay if you find that, hey, the career that you thought you were interested in didn't end up being for you. Uh, but yeah, I, I did a year of traveling and, and it was all paid. It was, it was awesome. I wrote a blog about each of the cultures that I, I got to interact with, the places I visited. So yeah, and I, you know what? I kept in contact with a couple of middle school and high school teachers along the way, the, the people who really took uh, a huge invested interest in my my life and people who taught me things that that again I wish I listened to them so much earlier but they told me Tark take a second uh, reevaluate and then when you're ready we're here to support you but till then you need to take care of yourself and you need to take care of uh, of the things that you want to do before you really invest into this longer career. Uh, afterward, when I came back, I knew, you know what, medicine is what I want to do, not for the reasons I thought, but for the reasons I learned. And that specifically was I want to help the community that I came from. So the people that looked like me, uh, that, that felt like me, the people who were struggling with mental health stuff. Um, yeah, and then I applied. I got accepted to uh, Michigan State College of Osteopathic Medicine, so I will be a DO, and and it's it. I'm so happy. I'm I'm just got my base hospital at Wyandotte Henry Ford. I am unfortunately studying every day. These exams don't go away, but it's okay. It's it's a tough journey, and we'll make it through. And I know y'all are still in the early tracks of it, but please, 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 take care of yourselves. Focus, 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 do what you need to do, get it done, okay? I know you, I, you know, it's easy to blow off a homework assignment. I know it is. It's easy to blow off a class sometimes or an exam, but don't do it. Trust me. These skills that you're learning now are so important and, uh, you know, it's, it's sometimes easy to cheat. It's easy to cheat through stuff and... Trust me, you're hurting yourself. And I heard that advice all the time, but I never listened to it. If there was like an online quiz, I was like, well, I have the answers right there. Why don't I just look at them? Just don't. Trust me, these, this stuff still comes up. The, the stuff you're learning in biology still comes up. I just had a medical school practice a question that, that asked me what a southern blot did, okay? Um, so, and that, that, that was stuff that I learned back in high school and middle school or even statistics. I, I'd never refreshed my statistics since AP stats back in high school. And I still, I swear to God, I'm not making this up. I still answer some questions just based off that statistical knowledge that I learned back in Miss Woodruff's class and AP stats. So learn it, learn the material, understand it. Okay. Understand on a deep level. You're going to, you're going to forget it. 
and that's normal. But the second time you look at it or the third time you look at it, it's going to come back a lot faster. And that's the biggest thing I learned in med school. It's not about me regurgitating, you know, cystic fibrosis to you or, or all these other pathologies. It's about when I look at it, I can understand it a lot faster. Okay. And, and that's what you're doing right now. Okay. You're not going to remember it all, but you're going to understand it a lot faster. So put in the work now, take care of yourself, find out what you like, find out what you don't like. And above all, be kind, be kind to yourself, be kind to your classmates, be kind to your teachers and your counselors. Everyone puts so much into you and it takes so long to realize that. I wish I can go back and thank everyone individually because no one forges their own path, okay? They're, they're, they're offered advice and, and guidance, okay? You will walk the path alone, but you're not forging it alone, okay? These people are guiding you and investing in you. So respect that, respect their time, and respect yourself. Uh, other than that, go blue, go green. Y'all are going to crush it. Keep doing you. Have a good one.